Hi, my name is Lexi and I am a Certified Diabetes Care and Education Specialist here at Penn Medicine. Today I will be teaching you how to prepare and inject insulin. Insulin is one of the medications prescribed for people with diabetes. You may be prescribed insulin in a vial and you will use a syringe to inject it. You may also be prescribed insulin in a pen and you will use a pen needle to inject it. First, you want to start by washing your hands. You can use soap and water or you can use hand sanitizer. If using hand sanitizer, make sure that the alcohol is dry on your hands before proceeding. In front of you, you need to have your syringe, alcohol, either by an alcohol pad or rubbing alcohol with a cotton ball, as well as the insulin you intend to use. If you take two different insulins by vial, you need to make sure that the insulin you intend to take is in front of you. If the insulin within your vial is cl cloudy, you will need to pick it up and gently roll it to make sure that you mix the insulin within your vial. If your vial has clear insulin within your vial, you do not need to mix. The first time that you do use your vial, there will be a cap on top of the vial. You just want to take that off and you can discard a bit after its first use. Every use after that, you are going to want to pick up your alcohol and rub the top of the vial, allowing it to dry before you place the needle into the vial. At this point, we're going to pick up our syringe. At the bottom, you're going to see a white cap. You will twist that off and under you will see a plunger. With syringe and vial, you want to make sure that you draw up the amount of insulin you intend to take, but you first draw up air in the total amount. So for this demonstration, we will be using 10 units. Pull the plunger back until you get to 10 units. Take the orange cap off and you can set that to the side. Since our alcohol is dry on top of our vial, we will insert the needle into the top of the plunger at 90 degrees. And at this point, you will push the plunger down, injecting the air into the vial. You will turn both the syringe and the vial. And with your free hand, you will draw back the amount of insulin you need. Once you have the insulin in the syringe, you want to make sure that there are no air bubbles. If air bubbles are present, you can tap the side of your syringe while holding your vial and syringe straight up and down, allowing the bubbles to float to the top. Others at this point will draw back an extra unit or two of insulin, tap the side of their syringe to get the air bubbles to float to the top, and then we'll push the extra insulin back in, making sure that there is no air bubbles in the syringe. When you are happy with the number that you have and there are no air bubbles, you can separate the syringe and the vial. You're going to wanna take your alcohol and you're going to wanna wipe your skin. Again, making sure that the alcohol on your skin is dry before you will do the injection. At this point, you can slightly pinch your skin and you're going to hold your syringe like a pencil and you're going to insert it with a swift motion at 90 degrees into the skin. Once the insulin needle is in your skin, you can release the hand that is pinching and you will push the insulin down with the plunger into your skin. Once all of the insulin is in your skin, you are going to hold for five to 10 seconds, allowing that medication to get to your skin. When you are ready to pull out the needle, you will pull it out at the same angle that you put it in. At this point, it is important to dispose of this in a safe sharps container and not in the regular trash. Some people do not have a sharps container at their residence, 
so it is important that you can at least use a plastic container with a lid that can be sealed. But you are not always at your residence every time you need to do insulin. So sometimes what people will do is if you're able to safely recap your syringe with the orange cap, do so as needed, knowing that once you place this orange cap, it is a used syringe and you need to put it in a safe place until you're able to be back at your residence to dispose of it in the safe sharps container. Please refer to your self-care behaviors packet for more information. Thank you so much for watching.